Oh, that's a lot closer than I thought it was. So, Mauricio and I, as you all know, started out budgeting when we first got married. Money was tight then, and we were not... In the very beginning, we weren't struggling. There was a period that it was pretty rough when we were having problems with our house. And as you all know, our budgeting was... Hmm. Not great. We didn't reconcile. We didn't have a plan for emergencies. We didn't plan for Christmas. We didn't plan for vacations. Well, we didn't take many vacations then. We really were newbies at the whole budgeting thing. And it's taken us our entire marriage to become like budgeting ninjas, shall we say. So there are four things that I've learned across the course of my time budgeting that help us stay on track every month and help us not to go over our budget well actually there's five the fifth and most obvious one um i'm going to start with because it's the one that people seem to forget your budget needs to be realistic if you are watching a bunch of youtubers or instagramers who are feeding a family of five on a hundred dollars a month that may work for a very select few but it really doesn't work for a lot of people so you need to be honest about what you're going to spend because if you set your budget too low you're obviously going to go over every single month so being realistic with your budget is number one key that is a given okay so apart from that there are four other things that we do to make sure that we stay on budget every month and i'm gonna go over those now so the first thing we do to help us stay on budget every month is we reconcile daily every morning first thing i get my cup of coffee walk into the computer and i am looking at the expenses from the day before and putting them into the budget. So I am always aware of where our money is and can at any point go into the budget and tell you how much I have left for the month without fail. And I, I may go every other day, but I never go more than two days because more than that, and you, it's impossible to remember. It really is. The second thing that we do to stay on track with our budget every month is that we have a cushion so written into our budget there is a line item that call that we call we've called it we're dumb asses we've called it whatever comes up there is always a cushion and it's anywhere from 100 to 200 dollars every month depending on the month and what we have anticipated and so there's a little bit of play in our budget so we don't have to be perfect because nobody's perfect I'm not perfect. Although Mauricio will tell you I am. Okay, that would be a lie. Mauricio will be the first one to tell you I'm not perfect. And he'll tell you exactly how I'm not perfect. So by having a cushion in there, you you can prevent the stress and strain from going five or ten dollars over because if you're operating on a zero based budget, going over five dollars is gonna cause you to overdraft your bank account. The third thing we do to make sure that our budget stays on track every month is when we have big expenses, we budget 25% more. So for example, and you hear this a lot with things that we don't know exactly how much they're gonna cost. So like traveling is a huge one. Uh, Christmas is a big one. We always plan for 25% more than we think we're gonna spend because inevitably you're gonna spend more than you anticipated and it's always okay to have money left over, but it's not okay to freak out because you don't have enough. The fourth thing that we do to prevent going over budget every month is actually a really brand new thing from this year actually. And it will be our saving grace. As I just mentioned, we like blow it massively about twice a year. Stuff comes up a lot of times for us, it seems to be medical expenses. Like we go to a doctor where we have to pay out of pocket and then we submit the stuff to our insurance and that takes a while to get that money back. So, you know, from one month to the next month, we might be over several thousand dollars. That, that actually has happened several times a broken appliance or you know whatever something 
that we've forgotten. So this year we created the miscellaneous short-term savings fund, which I know a lot of y'all call sinking funds, but we have the miscellaneous short-term savings fund. And what that is, is it's a pile of money every month that's there because we're going to go over. And if we do, we take that money and we pop it in our checking account and hey, we're safe. And Mauricio and I put quite a bit of money. I think it's, I can't remember if it's 300 or 500 a month we put in that and it just piles on. And hey, if it gets big enough, we'll just put it towards debt and just leave a little bit in there because, you know, for us, a thousand dollars, we can generally cash flow, but more than a thousand dollars and we're in trouble. So this miscellaneous sinking fund ha will, I don't think we've used it yet, but it will save us. Sinking funds are, have been a game changer for me. When we first started, we did not save ahead of time for anything. We figured we had big enough salaries that we could kind of cash flow everything. And now I will never go back to that way. So if you want to see the video where I talk about what we have in our savings funds, I'll put that right up over here. So I'll see you in the next one.